What's up my fellow actors, Kurt Yu here from actingcareercenter.com. Today I want to talk about luck and how much luck plays a factor into an actor's success and how successful they are in their careers. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to first welcome anybody who's watching one of these videos for the first time. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. I'm super glad you are here. And if you haven't already downloaded my free 10-step audition preparation guide yet, you can get it from that link right up there. I call it my audition cheat sheet and it's basically my way of helping you improve your auditions. Uh, it's how I break down a scene and break down my character and really find a way to uh, make the scene more believable and make my auditions more believable. It's the process that I have personally used to help me book over 50 movies and television shows. So if you want to download that free guide, you can get it from that link up there, okay? All right, so let's talk about luck and how much luck plays a factor into an actor's career. I feel like Everything in this career has an element of luck to it, but there are certain things in the career that uh, are probably more affected by luck than others, and it may not be what you think. A lot of people will say, oh, that guy got that role because he was lucky, or that girl got that role because she was lucky. In my opinion, um, yes, luck plays a factor anytime an actor books something. It, 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 luck does play a factor, but it's less of a factor than you think. In fact, where I think luck plays the biggest role is after you book a project. In other words, luck isn't about whether or not you book the role, but what role you book. So let me try to explain this a little bit better. Let's uh, play a little example here. Let's say you and I both audition for different roles on different shows. And let's say these are both brand new shows and it's first season and our roles are both pretty big roles, right? And you get your audition for your one show and I get my audition for a separate show. Let's say we both do our jobs as actors, we both send a great audition and we both book it, okay? So you booked your role and now you're an actor on this show and I booked my role, I'm an actor on a different show. The luck part of it is after we've done our parts, we've done the acting job, and now the show has finished filming, now what happens to those shows? Let, again, let's say they're both brand new shows. What happens to those shows after they're done filming is the luck part of it, because we have no control over that. We have no control over whether or not that show is gonna be successful. In fact, let's say my show ends up being a complete flop. Nobody watches it, or maybe the people that do watch it don't really like it and they don't watch the next episodes. Let's say your show ends up becoming the next Stranger Things or Game of Thrones. It becomes a huge hit. Because of that, you as the actor on that show all of a sudden become really popular. And me as an actor on my show, if it's not popular, it probably becomes, uh, it probably gets canceled. And then nobody knows who I am. I have to go back and start auditioning for other shows or other movies. Um, whereas your show, if it becomes popular, will probably get picked up for season after season after season. It can go on for another decade or so. So that's where the luck really comes into play is whether or not the project we audition for ends up becoming a hit, ends up becoming popular. And those are things that we don't know going into it. We don't know this when we audition for certain projects. I'll give you another example. Take someone like Brian Cranston who's a really great actor, but nobody really knew who he was until he was in his 40s or 50s. And he was a good actor when he was younger too. It wasn't like all of a sudden he became a great actor when he was older. He was a good actor when he was younger, but he was working on projects that nobody knew of, nobody heard of. Um, it wasn't until even Malcolm in the Middle, when he did Malcolm in the Middle, it wasn't that big of a show until Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was a huge worldwide phenomenon. And so when Brian Cranston booked Breaking Bad, now he became this huge famous actor, but he didn't get that until he was in his 50s. So that's where the luck of it is that he had worked on all of these projects throughout his many decades long career, but the one that made him quote unquote famous didn't come until he was in his 50s. And it doesn't mean that he was a bad actor when he was younger, it just means that he was a good actor all throughout his career, but the, the, the luck of it is that that right role that came along that was a hit show that he doesn't have control over as an actor, um, that happened 
when he was older rather than when he was younger. Uh, on the flip side, someone like Maisie Williams, who booked her first role on Game of Thrones when she was a teenager, Game of Thrones happened to become a big worldwide phenomenon, right? Does that mean that as a young actor, Maisie Williams is way better than Brian Cranston when he was younger? Not necessarily. It just means that she just happened to get this role that turned into a huge hit show and then she had a, a job for the next 10 years of her life because that's, that show went on for such a long time, right? Um, so that's where the luck really comes into play. I mean, I can use myself as an example right now. I'm currently sitting in a trailer, as you can see. I'm working on a show that is in its first season. It's not, it hasn't even aired yet. It's airing uh, early next year in 2022. And none of us that are working on the show right now know what's going to happen with it. We hope, all of us hope, that when it airs, it's going to be a hit show, that people are going to love it. But who knows, right? So we're all hoping that when it airs, it'll become popular, and then we as actors will have ongoing jobs and ongoing work, but we don't know that. I wanna bring it back to Maisie Williams here because there's an interesting story about her on how she auditioned for Game of Thrones where luck, she actually got lucky because she didn't book something. The story is that she had auditioned for a different project prior to auditioning for Game of Thrones. I believe the movie was called Nanny McPhee Returns and she almost got that role, but they ultimately didn't select her. They selected someone else to play the character that she auditioned for. Now, so she didn't book the part, and you can say, well, she didn't get lucky, she didn't book the part, but it was actually lucky that she didn't because had she booked that part, she probably would not have been able to audition for Game of Thrones. So she wouldn't have been Arya Stark in Game of Thrones. Somebody else would have gotten that role. So think about how crazy that is and that she was actually lucky not to book something else because had she booked that, she wouldn't have been able to do Arya Stark, right? So this is really where the luck of the industry does come into play. It's not whether or not you get a job, it's what job you get. And again, we have no control over that. So the best we can do is to always prepare, be prepared and always be ready so that no matter what we uh, work on, we always do a good job and then cross your fingers and hope that that job ends up becoming a hit for our careers. So the point is there absolutely is luck involved in every actor's career. However, there are things that have nothing to do with luck that you do have 100% control over. And that is, you know, how hard you work is not about luck. Uh, how, how committed you are to training and working on your craft, that's not about luck. How much you are committed to um, your networking and building relationships within the industry, that's something you have control over and it's not about luck. How much that how much you work on your auditions, that's not about luck. Your professionalism when you meet people in the industry, that has nothing to do with luck. Your marketing materials, like your headshot and your resume and your demo reel and make sure those are really good. That's not about luck. So there's so much within this industry that you do have control over. So make sure that you control the things that you can control and don't worry about the things that you can't. And if you do all of these things where you work on the things that you can control in your career, then you're really uh, strategically tackling this acting career. And I think this is the best way for actors when they're trying to create an acting career, they should really develop a strategy. And hoping to get lucky is not a strategy. But if you do if you work on your training, if you work on your materials, if you work on your professionalism, if you work on uh, building relationships and networking, like those are strategies. Those are things that you have control over that you can do. There's a great saying that goes, uh, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. And I love that saying because like we said before, when the right opportunity comes along, we have no control over that. But we do have control over how prepared we are when that opportunity comes. You don't want to get caught when the perfect opportunity comes to you, but you haven't been training and you don't have great headshots, you don't have a great resume or a demo reel, and that perfect opportunity comes, but you have to, you either pass on it or you do an audition, but you do a terrible job because you haven't been practicing your auditions. That's the preparation part that you do have control over. What happens when you are prepared is that you increase your luck meaning you increase your chances of succeeding. 
there's no guarantee of success in this industry ever no matter how prepared you are there's never a guarantee of success however the more prepared you are i think the better you increase your chances of success think of it like um a raffle we all understand what a raffle is everybody puts in raffle tickets and then they draw your name if you have more tickets in the raffle bin you have more chances of winning if someone only has one ticket in the raffle bin and they pick it and it happens to be them that was all lucky right but if you can strategically find a way to get more tickets with your name in the raffle bin then you've increased your chances of succeeding and i think the way that you do that as an actor is that you stay prepared the more that you train the more that you network the more that you are professional all the time the more that you uh, make your marketing materials the best that they can be all of that is adding tickets into the raffle so that you increase your chances of succeeding every single time that you get an opportunity okay hopefully that has helped you hopefully that hasn't confused you even more about how much luck plays a factor into this industry if you have any questions about that let me know down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel and until next time keep practicing keep learning and i hope to see you on set one day